my name is Jennifer Jones and I'm a Watershed Outreach Associate with University of Illinois Extension. I'm Stacy Zuber, I'm the Soil Health Specialist with the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service. So today we're here in Effingham County and we are going to show you two different soil health tests that you can do at home to assess the soil health of your own fields. And so the first one we're looking at is the slake test and then we'll also be looking at the slump test. So these two different tests are looking at kind of the same part of the soil health that we're really focused on um, and that's the aggregate stability. So with these we're looking at how well are the soils holding up when they are submerged in water, when they are saturated with water, are the mineral particles staying held together or are they becoming loose in water and then that makes them susceptible to erosion and that's not a good thing for our soil health. Um, so we're going to kind of look at that in two different ways but they're very similar to we're going to look at is the slake test and so what you need for this um, is just two kind of clear jars uh, I got these from just our local farm supply store and we will fill them up with water basically to the top um, but you need to leave a little bit of room for when we put the soils in um, I also just got some chicken wire and so it's um, just curled over the top to create a little net um, to catch the soil in and so we just place that back into the um, jars of water and again so we just filled the jars up um, and we just use regular water for this and yeah it's pretty simple as that with the soil samples um, you do need to collect these at least a day in advance because they need to air dry in order for this test to work properly so what I did was I just dug um, these soil clods up from the surface of the soil and I just laid them out on my counter for about 24 hours and let them air dry completely before we do this test. All right, so for this slump test, it's gonna look pretty similar, but we're gonna use a little different supplies. So instead of the glass jars, the tall glass jars, you can just use any plastic cups, and then you're gonna want sink strainers. So these you can find at your local uh, grocery store, a dollar store, any of those, and get them really cheap. Just get um, one for each of the different samples that you're wanting to do. So this is gonna be like the wire baskets like we see in the slump test. You're just using these sink strainers instead. You want to make sure that they are able to fit inside the cups and um, so you're going to fill those cups to the top um, just like we did with the other. And for this uh, test, instead of having to use air dry soil, you can take soil directly from your field. So you're just going to take soil off the soil surface and it does not have to stay in clods because in fact when we do this test, you're actually going to crumble it up into the sink strainer. So you can just take a, a scoop of soil right off the soil surface. You can do this out in the field. Um, so, and it's very quick as well, um, but it is a little easier because you don't have to do the prep for the soil. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the slake test. I have a cover crop uh, farmed field on the left. And so this is a field that's been in cover crops for several years and it's been no-tilled as well. And then on the right side, we have a conventionally farmed field. Um, these are both in soybeans this year. They're both a cisne silt loam soil type. So while we do this demonstration, we need to make sure that both soil clods are fully submerged into the water. So I'm going to try and put them in and make sure that they get um, fully submerged underneath the water surface. All right, so here we go. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes. You can see that our sample on the left with the cover crop soil is mostly still intact. There's a large sample still in the chicken wire and there's not much sediment on the bottom of the jar. The water is pretty clear actually. Um, there's just a little bit of sediment sprinkling down through the water. On the other hand, the conventionally farmed field soil clod is mostly disintegrated. There's still some of the clod there in the chicken wire, um, but a lot of it is residing at the bottom of the jar now as loose sediment. Uh, you can see that the water itself is quite cloudy. You can't see through the water. Um, you can see some sediment still sprinkling down through it as well. Here's a time-lapse version of the slake test with the same soils we just saw. A soil with good aggregate stability allows more water to infiltrate and can hold water for longer. During wet weather, it doesn't seal over or crust as easily as soil with poor aggregate stability. It has greater resistance to compaction and therefore allows roots to penetrate deeper to access the nutrients and water they need to grow. 
During this time lapse, you can see once again that the cover crop and no-till soil hold up while the conventional soil crumbles under the pressure. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the slump test. Um, so with this test, again, you're using the sink strainer and we're just gonna take some of our soil that's directly from the field and we're just gonna take a handful of it and we're gonna crumble it up into the sink strainer. Gonna get it pretty loose. And the reason we wanna do that is because we wanna make sure that our water can get in pretty easily. So we just get that pretty close to the top of our sink strainer. So this is our cover crop no-till field. It's gonna be over here and we're gonna do the same thing with our conventionally tilled field with no cover crop. I'm just gonna break that up. Loose soil right in there. Um, these are taken from the uh, field the same day. This soil is actually a little drier because the conventionally tilled soil wasn't holding on to the moisture quite as well. But that's our two of them. So you just have that soil, loose soil in them. And we're gonna take them um, these sink strainers and put them directly into the water. All right. Um, and you want to get that water up so it's pretty close to the top of those. Probably could have filled these a little bit more. Um, but we're going to just put, put them in there and let the water soak through. Usually about a minute to a minute and a half that you want to let it soak in here. Um, and you can actually just tap on them a little bit to make sure you get that water. Just make sure for whatever you're doing for comparison, you're doing the same thing to both of them. So you can already see, just looking at the water, we see a similar thing that we saw with the, the slake test where we're seeing some particles moving through on both of them, but the water's a little cloudier in our conventionally tilled example. And our no-till and cover crop, we do have some particles that fell out of the way to the bottom, but they're gonna be larger chunks of soil, those intact aggregates, and not as cloudy because we're not having individual mineral particles loose. So it hasn't been that long, but the water is soaked all the way through. We're gonna tap them just a little bit to make sure. And again, just make sure you're doing the same thing on both of them. And then you're gonna take any kind of flat surface, pretty much um, bucket lid, you can take a board, you can take a shovel, and we're just gonna use this to be able to dump our soils out onto this so we can compare them side to side. So what we're gonna do is once the water has soaked all the way through them, um, you just take them out of the water and let them drain just a little bit. Shake them, tap, shake them a little bit. Just get most of the water. And then you're going to immediately dump them out onto your flat surface. All right. So when you're looking at these, our soil over here, this was our cover crop and no-till. We can see we have good intact aggregates, of the different particles in here. You'd say this has probably more of a brownie texture, that's what you're looking for. You want those intact aggregates. This is more of the pudding texture where everything is dissolved in the water and it really slumps. So that's why it's called the slump test.